Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's going blessed and doing blessed and highly favored. And definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and the, vi the loving vibes that you're sending out towards yourself and others as well. You know, through these crazy times, you know, we have to be gentle with ourselves as well, be, as well as being patient. Everything we're going through is a process. And, you know, if you're not feeling like good things are coming to you right now or not here, trust and believe they are heading towards their way to you. And everything is a process that we have to go through. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if... Uh, you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up, tell me about your impact and give how it impacted your life ahead you towards a positive direction. Also, if you, um, if you... Or, uh, if the video is giving you good vibes or good information <laughs> that you would love to share with a family, friend, or a fellow empath, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, my bad. It's just like I've been going through so much forgetfulness. I'm like, what did I just say? So, um, I'm probably going through my kundalini uh, experiences as well. Um, today, excuse me, um, my meditation music that I'm listening to today is Inner Self-Awareness Meditation, Spiritual Awakening, Healing, Connecting to Our Higher Self, and I'll post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas, please don't let dark dark or negative vibes hold you in a place where you don't belong now it's just like sometimes we can go through some really tough times and we can keep putting ourselves in that present moment of something that you know it could be something little but it like with us as empaths we take things to heart as anyways as it is you know sometimes we don't allow things to bother us and sometimes we do so it's just like we go through things for a reason but it's like for us to be able to process, process them and learn. You know, I, I do the same thing as well. There are sometimes I keep reliving the same things over and over again. And it wasn't meant for you to do that. It's just the fact that you were supposed to get whatever lesson, lesson or the meaning behind the situation you went through. So you can be able to take that on with your, your uh, journey. And being able to know that these these things happen for a reason we have to go through different processes you know even if it's like um going through a breakup or going through a divorce um having friends that you have had for many years and they're totally like strangers to you now you know when we go through spiritual awakenings um we people pass around us that are you know very close to us um being uh losing jobs left and right you're all these experiences we're going through they have a significant meaning to them you know whatever they you know whatever positive situation i mean lesson they're trying to give to you you know whatever you're going through they're, they're trying to make you see the positive situation in everything that happens you know even though when losing somebody like to illness or whatever it has a meaning behind everything but it's like at that point in time you probably can't deal with it at that time because it's something very traumatizing but it's like when I look at my situation I'm like yeah I lost my father yes I'm seeing my family in a different light because I always thought you know the situation I was going through I blame myself for it you know even though I did some things I'm not just gonna put everything on my family because I know I realize I've done things too you know and for me I feel like when you can admit your flaws admit your faults you know and come to terms with it and forgive yourself for those things you know that's a sign of strength you know you all have to go through that and it's just like um it's a blessing to be able to go through things and um being able to take heed from the lessons that they're giving you but you're not supposed to stay in that dark place for too long you know and sometimes we have a bad habit of doing that you know just keep reliving the same cycle over and over again and that all it is is just like bringing excess negative energy that you really don't need to have 
or you know you're just staying in a dark place and you know I, I know people that are like that that choose to be in a place like that and it's like I love I wish I can help change everybody in the light switch you know I, I do the same thing myself I get frustrated but I feel like it's a day-by-day -day basis you're not gonna get off of things you know especially when it comes to the death of a loved one overnight you know nobody knows your grieving process but you know that you know you ought to enjoy the time you have with them at that point in time and it's just like going through those things are very hard but you know it's like when I think about the situation with my dad even though it's a, it's a hard situation to deal with and it's a tough pill to swallow at times but I try to remember all the good times I did share with my dad even though we didn't, never had a physical connection again since my birth um, I try to reminisce on like the times that we shared even if it's dreams or you know or even thoughts because it's like I constantly hear him all the time he get frustrated with me is like if you don't stop saying you miss me I'm here all the time with you you know it's just like I told him I miss your physical presence let me just put it that way um being able to do that and knowing I'm blessed to be able to connect with him on that level is like so magical to me and you know it, it it's a day by day basis I, I tell myself I'm not going to allow the things that has really traumatized me to keep me in that spot you know I, I deserve more positive I, I have more positive things coming my way I just have to allow them to flow through me because sometimes we can be in a dark spot and concentrate concentrate on the negative situations that we've been placed in for so long that we block the good things that are coming towards our way or it slows it down slows down the process of us getting them because you know at times you're like you might hear that little angel coming to you or you know you might see a message and it says you know better days are coming for you and you give them a side eye like yeah whatever you know you have to be able to believe that things are going to get better for you you have to be able to see the signs you know if you're working towards something that you really truly want you'll start seeing people around you getting the things that you want and it's not to sit up here and say nah 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 they got it and you don't know it's just the indication is saying okay we're wanting you to see these things for you to be able to know these are the things that are coming into your life like all the time when I see certain things that pertain to my dad I know there's some kind of closure that I'm getting um, being able to know I'll be able to heal from these things that were sent to break me you know being able to find out the things that I found out you know knowing you know if you know my life story you know people try to understand like how will you be able to deal with stuff like that and I said it's a day-by-day -day basis trust me you know I, I don't have positive days all the time you know but you know I try to see the good in every day that I have you know I try to show the universe gratitude towards the things that I have. I'm grateful to have y'all in my life. I'm grateful for the ups and downs that I have because it lets me know, even though I fall, I always had that room to get back up. You know, knowing, you know, even though today might have been a bad day, doesn't mean tomorrow. I, I try to, you know, sit up here and say I'm going to have a good day regardless uh, the next day. And even if it might suck, I try to find something to be grateful for out of that day because I know it could have been a lot worse. So it's just like when you know you're going through things, don't allow it to place you in a dark spot you're not supposed to stay in. You know, if you're going through a grieving moment, okay, go through that grieving moment, but don't keep allowing yourself to keep getting being in that spot because that's not what what is life is intending to keep you at. You have to go through these crazy situations, no matter what it is, but it's bringing forth towards things they'll have a meaning, a bigger meaning toward the bigger picture later on in life when it's time for you to know why you had to go through the things you went through and I keep telling people you know when they go through things and I like I have to remind myself you know like I send out to other people you got to realize the most uh, strongest people go through the most toughest situations because it's like it's already testing your strength as well as your faith and you already know you are badass before <laughs> so it's making you go through these crazy situations because you know there are certain things that are around you and not has not have to basically be with you but it could be the people you're connecting with be able to help them as well so knowing everything has a bigger picture to where where why it is the way it is so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video let me know if you know you were able to resonate with this you go through things we go through them for a reason knowing everything happens for a reason but it's just not meant for you to be going through this constantly all the time 
so like and subscribe give me a thumbs up like and even share make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and please drop me a line i would love to give you a post notification shout out and um i'm giving my shout out to um let me see um ray fisher uh the diamond king king hayoka and Blackjack, much love to you. I hope all is well. Send love and blessings. I hope you have a, a, a joyful, prosperous weekend. Be safe. And um, be responsible at everything you do. And, you know, let your hair down. Have some fun. You know, you never know what will happen throughout the weekend. So, you know, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on my next video. I love y'all. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I always keep y'all in my prayers. So much love to y'all. See you later. Peace. Be wild.